A woman just came by and told me, this is habanero. It's made from the hottest chili in Mexico. I'm waiting for the spice to, oh my God. Good morning and welcome to Mexico City. It's a second channel video. Second channel means twice the fun, half the effort. We're at a Sunday market, full of life and food and energy and tons of stuff to see. People selling every kind of thing you can imagine. We already shot a lot of videos on the main channel, but here we can cover some of the stuff we didn't get to cover in our other videos. For example, what is a Toronja? For example, what is a Naranja? I don't know, but I'm gonna put it into Google Translate and find out. This is awesome. It might not look like much, but he just put in a piece of pig skin and it starts to bubble up right away. This thing is like the size of a blanket. It's like magical how it happens. It gets so big, so quick. Oh my God. Woo, look at this. He's posing for me. Oh my God, boom, done. Oh, look at this. We've come to just a tiny little street food stall here in the market. This guy is making some kind of a pastry. It smells awesome. It just smells like toasty bread in the morning with butter and cinnamon. Is there cinnamon? Cinnamon? Um, so this has been on the grill for about a minute or two. It looks like a little bit of a pancake, but the final product right here, it looks like a sweet cracker. Hey, I look like a sweet cracker too, right guys? Puedo yeah. comer? Yeah, okay, he said I can eat it right off the grill. Usually he does it a little bit more, but it's not all the way done. I'm very impatient. This is the normal cracker when it's all the way done. This is the one he just pulled off. It's still a little bit doughy. I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. Oh, it's super hot. Oh, yummy. It's just doughy and sweet. You know, when he cooks it a bit more like this, it's hard, it's brown, and it's a lot more like a cracker. But I like this one. I like the half done doughy version. Sometimes it pays to be impatient. One of the best parts of traveling to Mexico City is all the fruit. Here we have, oh, that's a persimmon. They have big melons, they have pomegranate, and then they have this. This is something I've never seen in the USA before. Que es esto? Tuna? Mame. Mame. Señor uh, Corta, por favor. This is just a big, beautiful melon. Oh, look at that. This big, beautiful seed inside. Here, you can see what it looks like. Big, beautiful wedges, it's juicy. This is a fruit I've never had before. I'm gonna try it right now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's somewhere between a melon and a sweet potato. It's got this really unusual starchy texture like a sweet potato that's been boiled for an hour. Wow, that's so weird because it's not totally sweet, but it's not totally starchy. It's somewhere right in the middle. Very interesting and well worth it. Eat your fruit, kids, and your Jack Daniels. Oh, yeah. Right behind me, they have some very unique animal parts. Any guesses, anyone? These are, in the US, what we would call the off-cuts, but everything on the animal here is an on-cut. Do they call it an on-cut? I believe this is beef liver. That is a heart, but I don't know if that's a beef heart. Cow hearts get real big. This could be a goat or a sheep. Is this a sheep? No, 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 sheep, big feet. Oh, big feet, oh, I'm so dumb. So this must be a pork heart over here, and that would be pork liver. But moving down, it keeps getting more interesting. This is all stomach, and that's a stomach lining on the inside. In the morning, hot, probably. Chili is excellent. I'll have to get that recipe. He says this is very good with chili in the morning. We have a ton of different snacks, chocolate, gummies, seeds, but here, this is some kind of a chili coated gummy. So it's some kind of a fruit covered in a chili salt. It's so strange and so unique and so Mexican. I mean, it's sweet, spicy, and salty all at the same time. Wow, is this another one coated in chili? I'm not sure what it is. We can find out by eating it. It tastes like a dried mango with chili salt on the other side. This one's more tart and sweet. Down here they have beans. It looks like chili covered fava beans. Oh, it's been fried or baked. It's very crunchy. Definitely a drinking food. You need a beer to wash that down, but very flavorful. Lots of chili salts and cool coatings where you wouldn't expect to find them. Esa linda niña tan guapa, ella me enseñó a bailar, ella me enseñó que en el tianguín hay mucha felicidad. Ahora tengo que arrancarla de mí, arrancarla de mi alma y mi ser, que no quede huella, que no, que no, que no quede huella. Uy, que 
no queda huella, mija. Boom. We are getting some more street food right here. The corn. So they take the corn. The corn's been boiling for a long time already. They jam a stick of its corn butt. And then, this is the beauty right here. They slather it with mayonnaise. Right, I know what you're thinking. I didn't know they loved mayonnaise in Mexico. I just found out too. It's gonna get cheese. They're putting chili all over it. Gracias. This is the biggest piece of corn I've ever seen. They put some kind of a cheese on there. I think it might be queso fresco. Queso fresco. Ah, it's queso fresco. Mmm, that's really good. It's really messy. There's something that's a little bit sour in there, and that might be the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise here that's very popular is like lime-flavored mayonnaise, but on top of that, it's really spicy too. There's a little kid who ordered just before me, and she was like, no more, I want more chili. The corn kernels on here are huge. I mean, that's one corn kernel. It's very large. That is a great treat, and this is just for a couple bucks, maybe a buck, I don't know. When I ask how much things cost, I don't know what they're saying back to me. I just ordered some flautas. There are three right here, and they're gonna get fried in the oil right now. This is a tortilla that's wrapped up. There's different stuffings. I got cheese. I think there's one with meat. They gave me the combination. That gets a little bit of a flip. All right, then that comes out. The next step, see, see, see. They're putting on kind of a sour cream, some fresh herbs, and queso. Right here we have the flautas. I asked for the combo. I thought it would be a type of cheese or meat, but it's potato in that one. But it tastes pretty good. It's super crunchy on the outside. Let's try this one. That one is some kind of chicken, some white meat, a little dry. Mm -hmm. This last one is cheese, and that is delicious. That flavor is not intense or powerful or overwhelming, but there's a lot of flavor enhancers over here. If there's not enough flavor in your meal, it's kind of your bad, because you're supposed to be using everything here at your disposal. The first thing I'm gonna put on is uh, some of these fresh onions. I don't know if this is a spicy guacamole or a salsa verde. We've got kidney beans, let's add that on. This is looking like a real meal now. Oh, this looks dangerous. This seems like a lot of spicy chilies, so I wanna put it on, I wanna try it out. We got spice, beans, onions, a little bit of salsa verde. I love that cheese, but once you put everything else on there, the flavor really pops. I don't know what this is, but it is spicy and somewhat deadly. All right, I just put a ton of chili oil on here. Let's try that out. Mm. Mm. Not that spicy. Maybe I'll throw on something else. Oh yes, let's try that. Usually the more red, the more deadly. Mm. Whoa, that's a winner. That's bringing some heat for real. But it's weird, it has like a bitter back end to that flavor. The flautas is just kind of the base. And then you add and you build and you make it your own. You're kind of the chef. You come here, they give you the food, they give you the canvas, and then it's time to paint. And some of you are gonna finger paint, and some of you are gonna paint like Picasso. All right, now they're putting on some cream. Looks like some kind of a sweet jam or jelly. And then this, I have no idea. Maybe that's condensed milk? It looks super sweet. Oh, sprinkles on top. Mucho gracias. Okay. Plantainos fritas. It just means fried plantain. You look at the menu, you start to sound out the words, you kind of start to figure out what stuff is. Or you see somebody else order it, and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna have that. And that's what I saw happen here. I'm gonna try just the fried part first. That's delicious. It's crunchy, it's starchy, it's sweet, and a little sticky too. They put so many toppings on here. I'm gonna get a nice, very rich, sweet bite right here and try this out. This could be state fair food. It is super sweet. I mean, the condensed milk is almost like liquid sugar. The sprinkles are a nice touch. It makes me feel festive. It makes me feel like we're gonna have a fiesta. They just mix and match and they make it work. This right here is the meat selection. We got a steak. It gives it a little bit of a dip in the oil, and then that's on the flat top. This looks awesome. Boom, he puts the tortillas down. He puts the french fries on top, puts another one on, and that is finito. Gracias. Another find. We keep going around the market and I find stuff that I never knew existed, so it's kind of like a taco, but they're utilizing french fries here for a little bit of crunch. 
but it's a good crunch in general. At least here in Mexico City, you will find everything on a taco. It's like an edible plate. Shout out to Gabriel for that comparison. Here, I'm gonna put just guacamole because I love it so much. I don't know how they do it because if I make guacamole at home, it's brown within 20 minutes. But look at that. This is a salsa and it's very spicy. I love it. Muy picante. Oh, it is double tortilla, so it's got extra reinforcement. It is so warm, toasty. It's got a big old piece of beef in there. I'm waiting for the spice to, oh my God, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Wow, the steak is really good. Fatty, beefy, and the spice is killing me. This also right here is so spicy. It will bring you to another dimension, but it tastes so good. What is more spicy, this or this? This is more spicy. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I am dying here, and I thought it was from this red one. See, I thought this was guacamole, and a woman just came by and told me, this is habanero. It's made from the hottest chili in Mexico. This is travel in real life. It's a lot of just figuring it out. I know about five sentences in Spanish, and I don't even use them that well. I know how to say, like, what is this? Whenever they answer, I don't know what they're saying, and I know how to say, can I film this? And that's about it. Oh, and beer, and tequila, and mezcal. This is a huge bowl full of seafood. Look, right here we have octopus, here we have shrimpies, some kind of a fish. Here we have mock crab, and then, I don't know if it's fish or crab, but let's find out. I still don't know. Oh, I don't know what's happening. She's giving me like a little show and tell. Give it some fresh hit of lime there. Wow. I think it's raw. <laughs> that is so seafoody. I feel like I just went to an aquarium after running a 5K and dunked my head into a fish tank. At least this I know is fake, and so it can't be bad. Mock crab, actually made from fish. Mm. I knew I just needed some fake crab to bring me back to baseline. Deep down, there are clams. There's so much octopus. There's an octopus in my clam. All right, I'm just gonna get it out with the spoon. And there you go, a tiny little clam mussel with some octopus. Not bad. I know Mexicans are gonna look at me and say I'm doing it all wrong. I'm probably supposed to be putting more lime, more sauces, more salsa, but overall that's much better. After the seafood's been bathing in this super hot broth, it kind of just refreshes everything. Whatever she gave me was a little bit fishy. It's a little bit like I went to third base with a fish against my will. And then I did a walk of shame in the morning, which was actually more of a swim of shame because I was in the ocean. Otherwise, great. They are now making my tostadas right now. Look at this. Step one, it's gonna get some mayonnaise. Step two, Pico de gallo. Ooh, this looks good already. Next step, camarones. This is the shrimp. Oh, they don't mess around. That is a lot of shrimp. Avocado slices. And then I have no idea what that is. Before eating, we ran into this gentleman right here. He says he's gonna make a mojito. Hey, thank you. All right, I almost got hit by a car. He's got music, he's pumped, and I'm pumped too. All right, he's put some limes in there. Ooh, he's smashing it up. This is wild. We got musica coming from here. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Mm-hmm. Some kind of liquid, I don't know. This is like a homemade mojito on a shopping cart. I have no idea if this has alcohol in it. Manzana verde, uva verde, kiwi, limón y pepino. Hey. We have here tostadas. This is something I did not try on the main channel. It's almost like nachos, but with one big chip. And on top of this thing, they've layered up some flavors. Then, if you look over here, Oh, you're so fast. There are maybe 15 different sauce options you can put on top of your food. I'm gonna try this out without anything extra. Let's go for it. It's delicious. This is a toasty, crunchy bottom layer, and then just piles of flavor on top of that. It's hilarious, right? Mayonnaise, that is lime flavored. Mm -hmm. It's so satisfying. There's a big avocado here. There's so much flavor. I like mayonnaise with seafood. I think it goes together, and I can't believe that on the sidewalk I'm getting it here on a beautiful afternoon for just a couple of bucks. Let's switch over here to the tostadas de pulpo. Boom, it starts with a slathering of mayo, pico de gallo, and then now he's putting on the pulpo, the octopus, avocado, and then a little bit of the secret sauce. There's so much on here. Same build, the only difference is instead of shrimp, they've got octopus. I'm gonna try just the octopus. It's chilled, it's firm, and it's just a wonderful texture. Mm. Oh, the seafood here is like a gift. I'm gonna put some mayo on here. Let me adjust this avocado. Oh, it's gonna be the perfect bite right there. 
It is nearly impossible to eat this in an organized fashion. This is outstanding. This market has a lot of range, from random fruits to candy I've never seen before, to tacos to tostadas with super fresh seafood. This is incredible. Guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is the second channel and this is a big experiment. You know, I'm seeing if when we're not shooting for the main channel, if we could shoot fun videos like this for the second channel and seeing if you'll like it. I hope you do. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of this kind of content or if there's something missing. That's been a tour at a Sunday market here in Mexico City. My best advice is to approach all situations with positivity and a smile. Learn how to say hello, please, and thank you. And that goes such a long way. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. All right.